What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Atomic DRZ build, part five. All right. So uh, yesterday, I was 3D printing some little rims that I found off Thingiverse. These little like baby Atavans, and uh, they look pretty cool. But I couldn't really get them to fit in the car, so I broke a bunch of them. So I printed some off in carbon fiber filament. I don't have a wrench to tighten that bolt down. None of my wrenches here fit this Kyosho bolt pattern or atomic bolt pattern, whatever you want to call it. But I was just um, putting some tires on here just so I could see how it would visually look with the body on so that we can open up the body and stuff. And then I don't know if I got these toe rights when I was building the car, but this turnbuckle look straighter than that one but it's probably because these tires are not on all the way we still got to finish up some parts like we got to put on the gyro and we got to put on the front bumper piece so i got the electronics on i uh i think i kind of set up the electronic speed controller what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh i don't have a battery in my um I don't have a battery in my controller right now. I'm going to use the turbo racing controller that I got from Banggood. It's just like my AX5's controller. So it's a three channel with an aux. So for lights, it has that switch for lights. And the reason why I want to use this controller is because this controller has like your endpoints um, and all that expo and all that stuff. So for $34, I could not beat this. That way we can set up the steering and stuff. That way I can set up the gyro. Now the way this gyro is supposed to sit, the name of the gyro goes like this. But a lot of people on Instagram, they've been, uh, hold on, let me try and pull it up real quick. Instagram and type of atomic DRZ. You find all the epic atomic DRZs and mine. There's my build. Yeah, I got a like. Cool. Um, this guy here. That's an epic build. Well, he's using a totally different gyro. Ah. Uh, There we go. See how he's got his gyro set up? And then his sticker is backwards, just like mine. So, I'm guessing the gyro can go just like that. Yeah, if we put it up there like that, then the gyro name, car gyro, would be facing the front of the car. So gonna do that and then we'll try that out but yeah there's some some awesome awesome DRZs on here like these two those look sweet but we're gonna unbox the Kyosho Mini Z BRZ body go ahead and open that up Without further ado, I've been staring at this body. I got the body first before I even got the car in the mail. So, you guys don't know. I just been wanting to, like, say something about the body the whole time. Uh, I like the DRT. It's a sweet car. So I can afford it. All right. We got our window. It's going to take all that stuff out. We probably are gonna have to put that body mount on. Wow. If I can get this to work. The wheel wheels line up. 
Oh, man. Oh, that gave me goosebumps just by sitting it on there. Oh, I know RC Sparks don't watch none of my videos. <laughs> but he should get one of these for his mini Z course. Oh, dude. Yeah, that that's going to look really well in my garage. Wow. Is both of the wheels going to be towed like that? I don't know. Yeah, maybe once it's all bolted up. Yeah. That's going to look stupid sick. That angle. All right. Set the body over there. Enough of my excitement. Let's finish up the, uh, the build here. We got to put this front bumper piece on. That's going to go right here in the front of the car. And without me looking at the manual. I believe it's going to go that way without me. Might go the other way. Alright, we're going to have to refer to the manual. Alright, we got the BRZ body mount on the car. I put that black mount back on. And I'm going to use these 4mm, or these two 6mm screws because they're long enough. And what I'm going to do is, because if you just put it through the BRZ mount and there's nothing to thread through, so I'm thinking you need that black piece up there to hold this. Um, body mount on so what I'll do is try and hold this here like that and then find my screwdriver yeah, I thought about cutting this but got a bunch of uh, wires that I can use this excess stickiness for uh, the wires to sit on. It's already sitting on there pretty good with just the first mount. Yeah, I'm going to put the wires in the back. little switches and diodes on here but I'm um, hopefully I was hoping that I didn't have to use these switches with the three channel on the remote Set that one on the side over here. And then uh, try and set this one right here on this sticky part. And that nice big old squeeze. And I should be able to take. Oh, that's not center. Uh oh, see that's gonna.
Now we can call it complete, even though I don't have a Kyosho Mini Z. Uh, I can use this plug here. My little sticky group thing did not work. What I was hoping for is if I could take this plug. Let's try and do some wire management. And this sensor wire here will just lead us up because that needs to be covered up with some tape. That don't need to hit carbon fiber. Do not want your antenna, the exposed antenna, or from flying drones, the exposed antenna, or like any open wires. You don't want that stuff touching carbon fiber. <clears throat> All right, and then I don't have any batteries, but you would want to turn your radio on. Uh, on this uh, FlySky battery I have here, I have three different type of balance ports. I have a regular JST and then this micro JST. This is what you use to go into the ESC to power it because it don't take the normal um, balance cord to power it. It takes the smaller one. So this is the one I use to charge with the red JST plug. And I just stick it right there behind the servo. This one goes back here. But when you're setting up the car in the manual, it says to plug it up, turn it on, and hold that, um, hold this bind, well, I don't want to call it a bind button, but this set button. You're going to hold it down, and it's going to blink um, red three times. Man, I need batteries for my controller. All right, I'll tell you what, in the next video, we're gonna reset up the uh, speed controller because I don't even know if I have my speed controller set up right anyways. But this is the car so far. We got all our little extra kit stuff for the, for the body. I'm gonna mic this and try and make a, like a GT drift wing. I like that spoiler though really cool and then I want to try and learn how to get these side body clips on I don't know if I should put them on the body first and then try and put them on the car I might have to do some cutting do some cutting and sanding I think that's all we need is just side body mounts Yeah, I'm going to try and find some pictures to reference. I see where they would have to go and how they slide in and stuff. I just got to learn how to cut them and everything. And then I got to go up to Excel, like I said, and try and find a, um, a tire wrench so I can bolt these tires down because I don't have a tire wrench. But this looks, this looks really cool. I'm gonna take my Dremel and cut this out. I'm gonna 3D print a um, an intercooler, cause all my cars got to be turbocharged. Especially the drift cars, it's got to be turbocharged. But um, I'm gonna put it and park it in the garage. Oh man, the suspension looks good. Not really a lot of front suspension from I gotta 
I go playing with it like a fucking kid. Oops, sorry for the bad language. <laughs> yeah, go playing it like a like kid. Uh, grown men and their toys. But, uh, this was supposed to go in Land Rover, but now I'm thinking about printing a tiny, tiny, tiny seat. So I can do try and do an interior. I know there's not going to be no way to do an interior with that big old gyro in there. But like, share, subscribe, you guys. That is the BRZ, DRZ, Biatomic, or the Atomic DRZ, my BRZ, <laughs> um, Kyosho Mini Z body. The part number on the Kyosho Mini Z body is MS, uh, MZN 150. Man, I got these from, uh, got this body from Excel. RC Mart has uh, bodies. Super G has Kyosho Mini Z bodies. And uh, for all your off road and enthusiasts parts, especially your Orlando Hunter parts, go check out Tiny 4x4 micro scale RC trucks. Yeah. So those will be like the three websites that I'll be messing around with is Tiny 4x4, um, RC Mart, Super G, and I still love my Asia T's. Still messing around with being good. Just haven't really found anything good. Oh, that Plin VV2. I, I really want one of those Plin robots. I want a real Plin. I've been 3D printing Plin parts, but I want to get a, I want to get a real Plin, or just a VV Plin, so I can mess around with them with the Android phone. Ooh, clear light. You can get clear um, lenses for your lights and everything. All right, all right. It's enough of me rambling around. I'm about to go and try and figure out a way how to tighten up these tires because I want to tune the uh, the gyro and get ready for episode 6 so we can set up the electronics because I want to drift. But like, share, subscribe, you guys. Peace and love. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video.